From the CUBE studios in Palo Alto and Boston, connecting with thought leaders all around the world, this is a CUBE Conversation. Hi, I'm Stu Miniman and welcome to this Pensando event. We're talking about how Pensando is helping to future-proof your enterprise. Really happy to welcome back to the program, Prem Jain, he is the CEO of Pensando. Prem, thanks so much for joining us. Thank you. All right, so uh, we had the opportunity, uh, Jeff Frick was at the, the launch when Pensando came out of stealth. Of course, we were all together there, New York City, um, beautiful views uh, at the, the Goldman Sachs uh, office in New York City. Uh, we had John Chambers there, Antonio Neri, uh, and you know, really explaining to the world what your team is doing uh, and you know, giving that out to the world. We're a little bit more than six months later so just first, give us the update as to how's your team been doing? Obviously, you know, when people come out of stealth or have any major uh, things going on, you can't necessarily uh, predict uh, when things like a pandemic or, uh, you know, global financial uh, situations are happening, but uh, how's the team doing? And uh, give us the update since, uh, since last week's Yeah, spoke. sure, sure, thank you. Uh, it was a great launch actually we had, and that was in October, since then, the company had made tremendous progress in all different areas of the company. So let me start with a number of people. We have grown to 250 uh, plus people in the company. We filled up our, all our key positions in the company and we are really making very good progress with the whole overall team. Product wise, we continuously uh, delivering since uh, October last year. We had made multiple releases for the enterprise customers. We have made multiple releases for the cloud customers. And we also have done uh, work with uh, some other uh, service provider customers. And uh, the product is really doing very well in, uh, in, in these environments. Uh, we have uh, partners, like you mentioned, in the Discover uh, show, uh, HP is going to launch uh, our cards into their uh, server. This is the official launch. We are already shipping uh, to some customers. And this particular thing is with all their servers as well as with the GreenLake product. Uh, we continue to work with our cloud partners and uh, they are also, we have done multiple releases to them and they will all go in production in next uh, six months uh, timeframe. Uh, we also have a lot of interest, we are seeing it from the service provider customers, and uh, we are working with a few of them. I cannot mention the name at this particular point, but we will share with you once that information becomes available. And they are very excited about the technologies which we have, and they think this innovation which we're bringing into the market is really great for the edge market in the cloud as well as edge of the service provider. Yeah, well, congratulations, Prem, on, on the progress there. Of course, you know HPE was an investor and you know expected to be an OEM. So getting that, you know, you know, less than a year from when you've come out of stealth uh, to being generally available this month, uh, you know, great milestone there. And as you said, you've already got some early customers using it. Um, yes. Help us understand. You know, when 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 the company first launched, uh, your team. Uh, has a you know, very storied pedigree. Uh, everyone in the network industry uh, knows what you've done before. Uh, you know, when, when I was waiting to watch, uh, you know, when you were in stealth, it's like, okay, well, I, I know there's going to be a chip and you know, we'll see how all the software that's happening in the world um, is going to change that. So you know, very much edge is one of the you know, key use cases that, that you talk about uh, that you're enabling, but help our, our, our audience understand a little bit. You know, if I'm an HPE customer, and I'm looking at GreenLake, I'm looking at ProLiant, you know, what are those things that I'm doing that says, oh, hey, you know, HPE is now going to offer this uh, to me? Yeah, so I think uh, what, what the customer is going to get in the very beginning is HPE is going to ship our DSC card into the server, and that's make the server future-proof. And the reason for that is because initially they're just using the networking capabilities, but then going forward, they can enable security capabilities. We can do like distributed firewall. We can do distributed load balancing. We can provide the encryptions. We can provide the capability of making it sure the system is highly secure. We have created an air gap between the host and the, uh, and the network itself. 
they can also making it sure that they can get the visibility on the networking side as well as uh, you know the application is very close to the application edge security is the right place to be close to where the application is running on the server and then we provide the capability with a policy and service manager so that they can manage life cycle of this particular products into all the servers which is installed as well as making it sure they can enable all the features and capabilities based upon the object model. Yeah, excellent, absolutely. Security needs to be everywhere. So when I think about edge models, you know, how do I get into those devices? So therefore, you know, form factor of a card uh, that, that, that fits in, uh, you know, seems to be well. Um, we talked about it at the launch, Goldman Sachs was, uh, you know, a customer uh, of yours there, um, you know, very well known in the enterprise space, you know, financial services, uh, you know, needs to make sure security's there, needs to understand that. Maybe speak to, you know, that enterprise customer, um, and if there's anything specifically with how Goldman sees uh, this rolling, uh, that, that could help illustrate a little bit more uh, what you're doing. Sure. Uh, so we start shipping to Goldman right after the launch, as we talked about in the launch itself. Uh, they have, uh, since then, they are now expanding it and rolling it out, more servers and capabilities into their environment, particularly using distributed firewall and other capabilities, which is, uh, you know, they wanted to make sure that it get deployed into their environment. And one of the things which is we are looking at it also is that we want it to be uh, for every future servers they buy, we want to be part of it, and then they can enable all the services related to, like I talked about before, uh, firewall, load balancing, uh, micro-segmentation, other capabilities, containers down the road, uh, to make sure that we can provide uh, storage also as a part of it, uh, so we can enable them uh, to deploy those services, and that makes it also, in their case, a future-proof once they deploy it, uh, roll out this particular capabilities. At the same time, we have more than uh, 10 to 12 customers, which is we are doing a POC, and these are all very uh, large enterprise customers. And uh, the POC so far has done, uh, is going very well. And these customers, again, will deploy different capabilities of the product, uh, you know, starting uh, in Q3, Q4 this year. So POC is going very well, and we are very excited about uh, working with these customers, and these are name brand customers. Once you will see it, once we will announce it, you will see it. This is really making a difference in their environment. Yeah, so, so you, you talk about the, the capabilities that uh, customers are using today, and then you know the roadmap of services that they will be able to add, add on top of that. Enable it. Uh, obviously, if, if you're talking about future-proof, I shouldn't change the hardware, but how do I think about it from, from a customer standpoint? Uh, you know, is it similar to a kind of a SaaS model as to how things updated? Uh, do, do I purchase it more as a subscription than as you know, a feature card? Uh, how should I be thinking that uh, from a consumption model or you know, the, the finance team when you say, oh, there's all these wonderful things, what will that do to my cost over time? No, absolutely, I think it's a very good point. Uh, the way the customer should think about it is that they're getting, one is the piece of the hardware which provides these capabilities, and then on top of it, the subscription model, which allows them to pay in three years, or if they want to buy it all in once, they can also do that. It's a very cost-effective way of deploying these services. This is a new paradigm. This is a world of distributed services uh, paradigm. And I think this will allow them to scale up, scale down, whatever is needed, because by the time you add this card into a server, you are basically adding these capabilities in every server. And more servers you're going to add, you don't need to worry about do I need to add this particular capabilities on the servers? You can enable whatever is necessary to enable in that server. And it's a very cost effective model once you enable these services, encryptions, compressions, uh, you know, firewall, load balancing, all the networking services and storage services. Uh, you know, once you enable all those, it's very cost justifiable in terms of deploying these capabilities. So, from, you know, when I think about, when I think about uh, HPE and their, their history at uh, the market, um, you know, very much they offer you know, flexibility. Uh, they want things to be really simple uh, when they go out the door. Uh, you've both partnered with them as well as compete, created competing products uh, with, with HP uh, in the past. So give us a little bit more as to what you know, Pensando uh, plus HPE uh, will deliver to the marketplace. 
Yeah, it's I think is a very good partnership so far. I think can we assume that this is going to continuously get better and better. Uh, the reason I think is very important because instead of just selling a classic server, HPE is now have the ability to provide the security solutions, uh, networking solutions, as well as storage solutions to their customer. And this one is really providing all these services, simplifying the design of the network, and also making it sure that the customers uh, can enable uh, all these capabilities wherever they want. It's a, it's a model which is uh, unprecedented in the sense of it's a totally distributed and the customers should be able to enable whatever the service they need there, even if they didn't plan it in the, in, 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 future, in the past. Yeah, excellent. We, 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 we very much these days talk about, uh, you know, how important data is and I need to be able to deliver services, uh, you know, where the data is. So, you know, very much a discussion of the cloud as well as the edge. So, you know, it, it sounds like this is extending, uh, you know, the importance of that data and being able to bring those services, you know, very much where the data is being created uh, and, and serviced in real time. Correct. Okay, uh, so Prem, uh, you know, the HPE relationship uh, obviously gives you, you know, a good chunk of the enterprise business, uh, but uh, are, down the road, should we be thinking about uh, other partnerships and potentially even uh, other OEM relationships? Yes, I think, uh, like I said, uh, we are working with uh, two or three major cloud vendors, and uh, they will be rolling it out uh, by the end of this year, and they see, themselves, like we said, we are going to democratize the cloud based upon the fact that the only solution which is Amazon has based upon the Nitro, we are now providing the capabilities to all the cloud vendors and they can take this particular technologies and integrate in their environment, which is what we are providing the software stack and they are integrating and they will be going into the productions and providing more capabilities, more features and stuff like that than what the competition will provide. So this is really an excellent opportunity, both for us as well as for our cloud vendor partners. Yeah, one of the one of the key things when you hear, hear talk of what AWS is doing with Nitro and the, the Outpost solution is they talk about, you know, fr from a hardware standpoint and a software standpoint, they pull certain things off of uh, of the software layer to be able to have them be more performing, but also it's both in the cloud and in your location, whether that be an edge data center with outposts, it's the same on both ends. So should I be thinking of this in a similar model that you need to, you know, I guess, where is it that it would be an enterprise only play? And, you know, what considerations is it between uh, enterprise and cloud when you'd be buying it from multiple vendors if they're enabled by your solution? Absolutely, and I think for the enterprise, the people who want to build their own cloud, I think this has provided a really excellent solution because all the capabilities which we have will provide all the features which you can get from the cloud vendors uh, in that particular sense. And, and, and if you are in the cloud, you can provide the scale and capabilities to the cloud vendors. Now the combination is a very powerful solutions between, you can get the same services whether you are in promise, uh, at, at premise or providing uh, or you leveraging the cloud. And that can give also hybrid uh, opportunities. You can run, uh, you know, same capabilities, same features in the hybrid cloud model where you're running some on your premises and some running in the cloud itself. Excellent, all right. So Prem, uh, you've got the solution coming out with HPE. You talked a little bit about uh, some of the other, you know, partnerships in, in the cloud, uh, partners there. Uh, give us a little bit uh, priorities for the second half of, of 20. Yeah, so I think the first half, uh, we have done very well financially also. Uh, we have uh, we are running almost close to 50% ahead of our uh, forecast where we were at this particular point. Uh, going forward, I think we need to make sure that we execute based upon uh, you know the current roadmap which we have and making it sure that we meet the customer's expectations and our partner's expectations. And also, I want to also give you another thing is that which is, our plan is basically our second generation innovation uh, also is, is going to come in very soon. And we will be able to take that into the production also on the first half of next year. 
So I think overall uh, for the second half, we have a pretty good opportunity to really capture uh, with our solutions, as well as looking forward to win some more design wins, both with our current solutions, as well as the new solutions, which we are going to take it to the All right, well, Premjane, uh, let, let, let me just give you the final word as to you know, how customers should be thinking about Pensando as they look to future-proof their enterprise. Absolutely, I think uh, based on the history, uh, you know, we are, we are known as an innovation machine uh, in the industry, and we continuously to do better and better. So I think the people should think about us is providing really looking at this transition, which is happening in the enterprise cloud, as well as in the service provider space. And we will provide the solution, which is really will meet their expectations. And the solution is consistent, whether it's for VMs, whether it's for containers, whether it's for uh, bare metal services and providing all these services in a very cons consistent manner. Right, well, thank you so much for the updates. Congratulations on the uh, continued steps along with HPE and definitely look forward to catching up with you and the team in the future. Thank you very much uh, for giving me this opportunity and uh, you know, definitely we will talk six months from now and, and uh, again, see it, how much progress we have made and what I told you and I will compare the notes and say, this is what we have done better. All right, stay tuned. We have a lot of uh, interviews with uh, some of the Pensando teams as well as uh, their partnership uh, with HPE. I'm Stu Minun. Check out thecube.net the for all of the background on this. And thank you for watching.